Lieutenant General, we've learned that Iran has developed its first shipment of drones to Russia to use in its war against Ukraine. So I'm just wondering, from the perspective of a military planner, how much of an impact could these drones have? Yeah, it could have a significant impact. Uh, uh, Russia is currently training soldiers there in Iran right now to be ready to receive the majority of these uh, UAVs that are supposed to be shipped. Approximately 100 or so uh, UAVs are supposed to be shipped to Russia to be used in Ukraine. There are also uh, some that are now going into Ukraine as we speak. You can expect these uh, UAVs to be used in a myriad of modes. Number one, as surveillance. Number two, as uh, intel gathering. And most importantly, the most dangerous is strike capability. Both uh, these type of UAVs will can hold up to four payloads of missiles. And so you can expect the Russians to use these uh, quite often in the fight, particularly going after the high Mars that we just put in there, as well as going up to other soft targets, such as the command and control systems uh, of the Ukrainians. But they're going to be significant as they get into this fight there, Jose. And, General, it's, you know, no secret that the Russians haven't exactly been so, so concerned about, uh, you know, not hitting civilian areas. It's very possible that these drones could also play a part in, in, in killing civilians. Absolutely. We know that uh, the Russians have not uh, uh, really uh, tried to prevent uh, uh, catastrophic damage from civilians or the population. So there's no doubt that they'll go after the rail systems, the airfields, uh, family homes, and so forth. So you can anticipate that as well. Evelyn, it seems like Iran continues its uh, mission to have all kinds of allies that are not exactly poster children for democracies and human rights. I mean, uh, Iran and, and through Russia as well, they've been extending their influence in countries like Venezuela, like Cuba, Ecuador, Nicaragua. I mean, Iran and Venezuela are expected to conduct military drills any day now in Venezuela. What do you make of what Iran is doing? Well, you know, Iran has been building up its military capability, not just, of course, the headline grabbing nuclear uh, program that they have and their missile program to launch those nuclear weapons, but they've been building these capable drones. And now they're running around the world selling them to any country that's interested in buying them. And it does really start to change the calculation for the United States and other countries who might come up against and are indeed coming up against. Uh, Iranian friends and proxies. We in the U U.S. forces have actually been targeted by the Iranians in Syria. Recess 15th, there were some strikes against U.S. forces. Now, most of the, the analysis seems to point to the Syrians and, well, actually the Iranians and the Syrians wanting to stop the Israelis from strikes they've been conducting in Syria by targeting the U.S. <laughs> so they're trying to get us to put pressure on our Israeli allies to stop targeting Syria. That's not going to happen. And unfortunately, Iran's entry into the Ukrainian conflict helping Russia is also going to come complicate matters for the United States and hopefully for Iran. And Lieutenant General, we have this new video showing an Iranian ship trying but failing to capture a U.S. Navy sea-based drone in the Persian Gulf on Monday. According to the U.S. Navy, that's, of course, what they're saying. What do you make of Iran's decision to try to get this U.S. drone? Yeah, I make a couple of things. Number one, uh, keep in mind, back in 2011, the uh, Iranians captured a UAV, an RQ-170 UAV. Uh, that UAV accident, accidentally flew over the border of Afghanistan and ended up in Iran. So they captured that. So they exploit and proliferate our technology. That's why they've been able to get an upper hand on UAV technology. Also, in 2012, they captured a U.S. Uh, drone in the Persian Gulf. And so they've been able to catch uh, a few of our drones and exploit that particular technology. And that's what they're trying to do here, or tried to do this week, is capture another drone. This particular drone that you're talking about is, is mostly for 
mapping and expo exploration of the sea. And it has tremendous capability. So it's a good thing our fifth fleet was able to get that drone back and back into the hands of U.S. forces.